Hi, uh, this video I am going to tell about uh, the USART. So, what is USART means it is uh, Universal Synchronous Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter. So, the USART, uh, in short, we call it as USART, it is uh, mainly used for uh, serial communication. Uh, we got one more uh, thing available that is UART, that is Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter. Uh, that supports only uh, asynchronous communication but uh, this USART uh, this is a programmable chip uh, that is designed for both synchronous and asynchronous uh, uh, serial data transmission so the pin how many pin uh, is available in USART so it is a 28 pin uh, dual inline package uh, so it is mainly converts the parallel data into serial schema bits uh, that is uh, suitable for serial transmission and also it receives a serial stream of bits and convert into parallel data bytes to be read by the microprocessor. So this is a block diagram for the uh, USART. So how many sections we have in this block diagram is uh, we have five sections uh, data bus uh, buffer uh, then read write control logic modem control so modem means it is a modulator modulator and a demodulator then transmitter section and receiver section so all those five sections are connected by uh, internal data bus we are going to uh, see one by one uh, each and in every section and also what are the pins associated with every section we will discuss the first uh, section is a read write uh, logic so as i told we have five sections uh, the read write logic uh, it is mainly interfaces the chip with the microprocessor unit and uh, it determines the functions according to the control word so whether we whether uh, the microprocessor is going to perform the read operation or uh, write operation so that will be decided by this uh, read write control logic and also it will monitors the data flow how the data is flow from microprocessor to outside world from outside world into microprocessor so that uh, will be monitored by this read write control logic followed by transmitter section so transmitter section uh, it is mainly converts the parallel word uh, received from the microprocessor unit into serial bits and it transmits the serial bits over the txt line so we have two lines uh, we have uh, one tx one line is txt and other line is rxt so txt is used for transmitting the data and rxt is used for receiving the data so here we are using the txt line for transmitting the serial bits to the peripherals and receiver section so the receiver section uh, it receives the serial bits from the peripheral device and converts the serial bits into parallel word and fourth section it is a data bus buffer so we have this data bus buffer we have a 8 bit uh, bidirectional data bus line from d0 to d7 and uh, modem controller so modem means uh, modulator and demodulator uh, it is used to establish the data communication modems over the telephone line so these are the signals uh, first one is it is a chip select so ces so what is this the chip select signal is whenever the signal goes low the 8 to 5 one is selected by the microprocessor unit for communication so then second line uh, it is a crd uh, c here denotes for control and d denotes for data so whenever this line is signal this signal is high so it denotes the control register or status register is addressed so whenever the signal is low so it means that uh, we are uh, going to send the data when it is uh, high uh, it sends a control signals and it when it when it is low it, it is a data buffer so these are the uh, control or data signal and uh, now we are going to see about uh, what are the signals associated with the transmitter section so as i told uh, the purpose of this transmitter section is it accepts a parallel data and converts into serial data so for that we have two register buffer register and output register and as i told it will transmit the data through the txt pin so it contains uh, framing bits also that is a start and stop bits 
and these are the signals associated with the transmitter section txt so txt denotes for transmitting the data so here by using this uh, signal uh, we are transmitting the serial bits that is uh, serial bits are transmitted on this line then followed by txc so what is a txc denotes for it is a transmitter clock so clock means uh, it controls the rate at which the bits are transmitted then uh, tx ready signal transmitter tx rdy denotes for transmitter ready so the it can be used either to interrupt the microprocessor unit or indicate the status so uh, whenever the transmitter is uh, ready to transmit the data to the microprocessor so this signal is used to interrupt the microprocessor unit and uh, next signal is a txc signal so txc signal it is a transmitter empty signal so whenever the signal is high it indicates that output register is empty and followed by receiver section so receiver section uh, it accepts the serial data from the peripheral device and converts into parallel data again this section also contains two registers uh, input register and the buffer register and these are the signals associated with the receiver section so in for transmitter section we are using txt that is for transmitting the data and here we are using rxt signal so rxt signal is used to receive the data so here the bits are received serially on this line and converted into parallel byte in the receiver input so for transmitter section we we have transmitter clock and similarly we have in the receiver section we have a receiver clock and rx rdy that is a receiver ready signal so whenever the signal is high when the usart has a character in the buffer register and it is ready to transfer into the microprocessor unit and these are the signals that are associated with the modulator and demodulator control first one it is a dsr so dsr denotes for a data set ready signal so it is normally used to check where if the data set is ready when communicating with modem so whenever uh, that the, whenever we are going to communicate with the modem so we need to check whether the data set is ready or not for that purpose we are using this dsr signal then dtr so what is dtr denotes for us it is a data terminal ready signal so whenever the device is ready to accept the data when 8251 is communicating with the modem this signal is active that is a dtr signal so dtr denotes for data terminal ready signal then we have a rts and cts so rts means it is a request to send the data uh, whenever the uh, the receiver is uh, is ready to receive a byte from the modem uh, it will request Uh, to send the data so whenever uh, accept then uh, opposite uh, we send the clear to send signal thank you